Okay. I'm online. It's true, and everyone knows that I am online. All right, that seems to be working. That seems to be working. <clears throat> Today we're going to look at Dog Free, the uh, subreddit of the dog haters. Um, this is something I found recently, and I'm ready to assume and enjoy. Actually, you know, I don't. Do I need to hear anything? Maybe. We'll see. Oh my god, I needed to hear the sub thing. Thank you, Doctor Who Forty Two, for your diligent subscribing. Okay. <clears throat> I don't have a mic stand, so my my mic might sound a little bit bad. Hopefully, it sounds okay. I'm testing out like a MacBook um streaming setup. Why is it so fiddly to do that? I don't know, but I I managed to roughly do it. So hopefully, it will be cool. But this is you know testing that testing that. <clears throat> Anyhow, how much do you hate dogs on a scale of 1 to 10? Let me know. <laughs> um, okay, dog free. We don't like dogs. If you're familiar with the, the subreddit child free, you'll know exactly what's going on here. Um, child free is people who hate children, want to kill them or something. And dog free is the dog equivalent. That's right. Dog things. Dog stuff. It'll all be fine. The dog haters need that place. And they found it. Dog free is 50,000 strong. Mmm. <laughs> okay. Oh, scary computer. Oh, you've Mop subbed. Top. Thank you. Mop top. Very true. And real. Wow, the subs are rolling in. Thank GB Mop Killer. Thank you. Subscribies. Hey, Venario. What's going on? Is there a butter free subreddit? You know what? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe three or four are going to be okay with dogs, but still not like allowed once. 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 Um, hmm. okay, all right, you tell me the truth, and I appreciate that. I actually used to have a fear of dogs, kind of, when I was little, but I'm over it. I recovered. <laughs> How many members of secret doggos infiltrating their ranks? Choo -choo 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 one choo choo jai choo, one choo choo party, one hundred party, one hundred. Wow, that was a really powerful message that you just sent, scary computer. Really, really powerful. Okay. All right. Let's see what they're up to. Let's see how everyone's celebrating the uh, big numbers that they got on here. Oh. All right. You didn't see that. <laughs> None of you saw that. <laughs> Thanks, Reddit. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Dockery is 50,000 strong. Hello, Dockery friends. Today is an exciting day. We are 50,000 strong. We are a growing school of fish swimming upstream with dogs barking at us from every direction, of course. They're fish? They're fish. They're fish in this world. Okay. Your mod team is small but mighty, and we have been here practically since the dawn of the sub. A couple of us have even been here since it was 500 members small. As we have played an active part in this sub's growth and evolution, we just wanted to convey our unified vision by putting a few thoughts down on paper. Great. Okay, why is my nose starting to leak? This is like the old stream days. Start streaming and my nose starts running. I'm gonna I'm gonna blow my nose. I'm gonna blow my nose. You don't need to you don't need to worry about it. I'll be back. Ooh, this laptop's loud. Or something is. I'm hearing it now. I'll be back to hate dogs. I 
since I'm looking slightly down, which is unusual for when I'm streaming. Anyway, the body is a mistake. I'll tell you that much. Um, where was I? <sighs> Your team is small but mighty, and we have been here practically since the dawn of the sub. A couple of us have even been here since it was 500 members small. As we have played an active part in the sub's growth and evolution, we just wanted to convey our unified vision <laughs> by putting a few thoughts down on paper. Whether you're a brand new subscriber or you've been with us for years, please take a moment to read through our FAQ, our sidebar, and our rules to either familiarize or refamiliarize yourself with them as we sometimes make minor changes. Ooh, you don't want to be excluded from the dark hater community if you uh, make a little faux pas, a little Reddit faux pas. That, that wouldn't be too good. <sighs> that wouldn't be too good at all. That wouldn't be, that would be bad. That would be really, really bad. Um, okay. We were also developed with utmost care and consideration. Again, we have been here for a long time and blah, blah. You know, the thing about Reddit that is most clear to me is that they love rules so bad. Like, they love rules way too much. They love being mods. They love doing rules. They love excluding people for like arbitrary reasons. Uh, great ecosystem. <laughs> um, a couple tiny dogs in a trench coat. One dog free membership, please. <laughs> oh, God. Um, during this journey to 50k, the sub has been a place to vent out our frustrations among like-minded people. For our next 50k, our vision is to shift the focus more toward affecting change through productive conversation. <laughs> it's so self-serious. It's so self-serious. It's like, guys, you're on a dog-hating subreddit. You... you you have to have a little sense of humor about that right but no i mean and as you'll see uh it's a subreddit that does take itself pretty seriously and you know i i do get it i do get some of the reasons why maybe we'll get into it i've seen a little bit of the subreddit and it does fascinate me um okay <laughs> remember that words and the way we use them matter there is a way to vent our frustrations, while also making the case for why our feelings are valid. While in a perfect world, all dogs would be banned, and all dog owners would come around to our way of thinking, we also have to deal in reality. As you choose your words and the tone in which you present them, be mindful of the other side and ask yourself, am I helping change even just one mind, or am I causing the other side to dig their heels in deeper? Venting is therapeutic, but oh, Hydrant emote, and it's a little cat? Hold on. Hold on. Top member of the moderator, Cruella, from 2021, maybe Cruella. Yes. That was truly iconic. Um, okay, I got like a cat emote. That's nice. That's nice. I do like that. I like an emote. I can't lie to you. I'm going to use that emote. Wonderful. It's a pretty good one. Okay, anyway. <laughs> well, in a perfect world, all dogs would be banned. You know what? This stream was a good decision. <sighs> Venting is therapeutic, but perhaps with each new post on this forum, there is an opportunity here to be productive. What is, is this productivity? Okay, I don't know how many people you can convince. Um that hating dogs is cool and we should ban dogs. I don't know. But, you know, you could go somewhere. You can convince people that your feelings might be considered in certain situations. But, um, I don't know, guys. I don't think... I don't think you're going to have a lot of success. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> there are many preconceived notions about our sub. Let's try to make our visitors leave thinking... Huh, I came here expecting something completely different. This sub actually makes quite valid points. As moderators, we make decisions daily as to whether or not content falls within the rules of our sub. We also have to make decisions as to whether content is in the best interest of our sub. Okay, great. So this is a cause. We might fall back on our discretion if we don't feel content is productive to our cause. Our... <laughs> Our actions are never born of power, just a genuine commitment to the sub 
and keeping it civil, on topic, in compliance with Reddit terms of service and conducive to promoting our cause. All right, a little bit disingenuous. Like, okay, you have power whether you whether you're whether you're really thinking that or not. That's what being a martyr is all about. Being a big, big tough guy. <laughs> That's right. Everyone knows. Um, oh, they're looking for more mo mods who are even tempered, level headed, and dedicated to striking this balance between letting the conversation happen and keeping our space productive. There's that word again, and within sub rules. Wow. Okay. Chief Branch 8345 says, there are 50k of us, there are millions of us. The dog-free movement is only growing. Something as unnatural and dangerous as dogs is due to... Oh my god. That... that thunder? That shook the whole house. Okay. That's fine. Jesus Christ. That was a scary moment. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. The dogs are attacking. No, no, the dogs can hear me. They're coming in. There are millions. Ugh. Oh. Oh, uh, something as unnatural and dangerous as dogs is doomed to not last forever just like cigarettes. Ooh, I hope I can live to see the day when our entire society has accepted reality. Okay. The rain's coming in. That was the most intense thunder I have ever experienced. <laughs> that, that, like, <laughs> I, I moved. I moved. I was moved by that, literally. Okay. Remember the sub when it had 2,000 people in 2017. So happy to see how much it's grown. Dogs barking at us from all directions, of course, immediately sounds so satirical. It really does. Yes, I am, Venario. I'm being destroyed in this country, this terrifying country. Um, congratulations, it's nice to know many others don't like dogs like myself. Awesome. <laughs> hey mods, thanks very much for this sub. It must be heartwarming to find endless posts of people finding it and realizing that they have finally found a place of sensibility. You're very quick to the mark to remove posts and comments that may deter from that, including some of my own. This is the largest gathering of dog-free people on any social media, and you guys help to keep it dignified and respectable. Many people would come here to ridicule it and ac <laughs> accuse dog-free people of being bad people, not to mention trolls that may come here to, to discredit us. Looking at Reddit stats, I've seen a consistent growth of subs over the last two years, but I believe with anything, that has become hyper popular it could soon become hyper unpopular Ooh. and i see this sub getting a lot busier as people wake up from their dark deluded state and realize that they have had enough had enough of dogs barking their neighborhoods down i'm listening to one that hasn't stopped for the last hour right now in fact had enough of relationships going south because dogs are placed before people had enough of the obsession they have had enough of our streets and countryside becoming one gigantic toilet for dogs. I mean, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that can, that can happen. They want to put a stop to people, particularly young children being hurt and killed by these beasts that owners are harboring in their own homes. Here's to the next 500,000 subscribers. I'm sorry, can you hear the rain? It's very loud. <laughs> this is not big a good time to stream. Oh, in the middle of the storm. Jeez. Forget dog free. Where is storm free? Where is storm free? I can't hear it. All right, that's good. I don't know how much this mic can pick up the rain. It's just incredibly loud to me. Hopefully it's, it's mostly getting my voice though. <laughs> anyway, okay. Um the toilets um of the world yep okay sounds like someone out of frame crumpling a paper bag okay yeah that makes sense <laughs> sounds like someone's crinkling crinkly paper in the background oh well that that's a good sound you'll enjoy that you'll love that 
<laughs> Our streets and countryside is just becoming one big toilet for clouds. That's really real. Why isn't anyone talking about that? What's go- Okay. Anyway. It has been comforting to know that I'm not the only one who doesn't like dogs. I came across this sub a few years ago by accident and was pleasantly surprised at how openly people were describing their negative experiences and opinions about dogs and their disgusting and obnoxious behaviors. It was so good to see people speaking frankly about the nuance, nuisance sorry, and dangers of dogs on society as a whole and how they're destroying wildlife, livestock, and other animals as well as the planet's ecosystem. Down with these worthless mutants and their inconsiderate entitled owners. I hope dogs will be banned by the time we reach the next 100k. No, that's not gonna happen, baby. That's just not gonna happen. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. God, oh, the rain got louder. When will it... When will it end? I think the rain's gonna come through the ceiling and get me. Get me. I hate it when puppies drift off to sleep on the couch. That makes me sick, yeah. Um, holy shit, I'm so happy. Alright, great. Okay, let's read some, you know, some of the, um, posts. <clears throat> doop, 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 doop. Okay, let's, 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 let's go for, I reported dogs in my yard and now have to testify as a witness in court. Let's see what, see what that's about. <laughs> let's see what's going on. <laughs> my neighbor has over 32 citations in five years for letting his dogs free roam. They have torn through my trash, vicious, viciously attacked two, two women shit in my yard come after me and my child i carry spray and used it oh wait did this person pepper spray a dog wow if if that's true wow that that's that's something um the owner was arrested after his this most recent attack owner is a registered sex offender okay is that relevant to the to the dog thing i mean that's a funny thing to just add on. <laughs> like, okay. That's, that's not too good. That's not too good. Um, he just got out of jail. I know this because I read docket sheets to keep up with when I need to protect myself. The day he got out, the dogs, who have no papers and no shots, were in my yard. I immediately contacted the local police. The officer said, out again? And I said, yes, I'm currently recording this on my ring camera. Cop said he will cite him and I will receive a summons to appear in court to testify as a witness so they can send her back to jail for having t having two unsafe animals roaming the neighborhood. The officer also told me they were just out the night before. Mm -mm. He said I will have to compile evidence, which I have of all the times the dogs were in my yard and chasing after me to present to court. Here's the thought. Why don't we just get rid of them? They have no shots and are terrorizing people, attacking members in a church across the street, and bit a girl after chasing her down a busy road. They've been hit by cars and are a serious threat. They've been hit by cars? The whole process is so ridiculous. I had animal control here exactly a year ago. The officer said he can see no harm being done to the dogs and that if I wanted to get rid of them, I needed to capture them myself and drive them to the Humane Society. I'm sorry, did, it, did an officer really tell you that you that that's a thing you could do because that's not you can't you <laughs> um okay that's not that's not too normal i sit up all night listening to them howl i sit up all night watching my ring camera notifications go off over and over because they just pace the yard like sharks mm. like sh do sharks do that that's an interesting uh, thing that, that they said the I run to my car waiting to be attacked the whole system has failed damn um that's scary I mean assuming this person is telling the truth about the thing in general um but you know dogs do get put down if they attack people like dogs can't attack people that much before they like 
will be put down right like there's a limit to what a dog gets to do before some kind of authority goes okay we will kill you now right i don't know obviously a dog can can be like a problem for people for a long time before that can happen but it's like it's an interesting expression of like the, I, I i want the i don't want the law to have these systems in place i want this dog to like die um but i mean like i can definitely sympathize with like some of the posts in the subreddit that are like a dog has like harmed someone right and i i don't know what to do and i'm afraid of that but you know like okay anyway attacking members in a church bit a girl after chasing her down a busy road that's going to sound really bad in court i wonder if the court could take his dogs to you actually if this guy was in jail where were the dogs when he when he was in jail what was going on with the dogs then or was he just not in jail for very long was it like a day i don't know even protected species will often be put down in situations where they hurt people exactly it's very like people first um with that kind of thing my friend's dog got out of his property chased a man down the street and bit him on the ankle ripping his pants the dog was seized by the local council within a week and euthanized about three weeks later i'm in australia what the af is going on in your country sounds like some sort of a lawless apathetic dystopia damn dude <laughs> over 32 citations and no one thought to remove the dogs which are clearly dangerous I could not live in constant fear of getting attacked by a dog on my own property. This is just crazy. I wonder why they weren't removed the first time they attacked. Yeah, I'm very curious about what kind of happened in this situation. Because, you know, you know, attacking people obviously is a thing that is taken pretty seriously. Mm-mm-mm. All right, well... There's some there's some deleted comments here. Wonder what wonder what they said. <laughs> wonder what those said. Okay, let's let's go to a new, ooh, let's go to this post. Why do dogs shit that much? <laughs> Why do dogs shit that much? It's because owners overfeed those vermin. I don't know in the U.S. of A. But here in England, dogs are a status symbol for the underclass. This is it. This is an English person. Uh oh. The average unwashed here. <laughs> the average unwashed here first by booze and. Oh. F star 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 edit cigarettes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then vape. Then tons of food for the dogs then mobile phone top i'm sorry wait they buy cigarettes then they buy vape <laughs> uh, dogs always be shitting that is true applesauce the boss i mean you can't deny that but okay then tons of food for the dogs then mobile phone top up then games and then maybe food for their children i love this hierarchy like maslow's hierarchy of fucked up needs booze and cigarettes okay vape food for dogs tons of it mobile phone top up then games then all the way down here food for the children <laughs> the underwashed cigarette vaping english yes nobody uses muscles the police are a joke local authorities are a joke local authorities like the police i feel like i feel like this person just said police twice um <laughs> poop ingredients thank you yes thank you for that um <sighs> oh, 
I live in Scotland. I confirmed that it's similar over here. Yeah. Oh, uh, really? Scotland is similar to England? Who would have thought that? Who would have thought? Who would have guessed? Who would have guessed that? <laughs> That's a funny thing to say. Okay. It's because dog food is mostly filler like sawdust. Maybe not sawdust exactly, but you know what I mean. Okay. Corporate dog mainstream media has normalized feeding dogs as much as they can eat, and dogs won't stop eating until their stomachs literally can't take anymore, so people will overfeed their dogs. The dog food companies are trying to make as much money as they can, so they make dog food as heavy and as cheap as possible. If there actually is any real meat in the dog food, then it's definitely the worst parts of the worst animals. <laughs> American here. Dog shit here too. <laughs> uh, my dog poops like twice a day. Okay, well, maybe maybe plug that up. Maybe get it down to one a day. <laughs> the worst parts of the worst animals. Which is the worst? Which, which are the worst animals? Which animals are the worst ones? I actually would love to get an answer to that. Um, <laughs> dogs, obviously. Ooh, yeah, okay. Big brain, big brain. Australia is dog saturation central and the owners are assholes. When I had dogs, I didn't want to pick up their shit when taking them to the beach. So I take them for a short walk before going to make sure they pooped before we left home. They still shat on the beach. There's no winning. Oh no, you try, you, okay. See the problem there is that you tried to make your dog like not a living being who has to shit. You tried to engineer a way that that dog wouldn't be shitting. And, it, and you can't, you can't do that. If you, if you get a dog at some point, you have to accept that the shit is a part of that life. <laughs> and you have to accept the shit. You have to embrace the shit. You know? And I, you know, I, I, I don't like to pick up an animal's poopy. But I don't own a dog. So that's my personal solution to that problem. Um, you know, hey, okay. All right, this person had dogs and now hates dogs. Yeah, maybe that, maybe they, either, they, they couldn't, they just, they couldn't do it. They, <laughs> they couldn't do it. Yes, overfed by dumb owners, but also dogs inhale just about anything into their mouths and down their throats too. Anyway, they're too stupid to recognize the difference between food and what is not food. One can never know what the hell is traveling through their intestines from one moment to the next. <laughs> One can never know. One can never know. One can never know. <laughs> I love that this like this this desperation to blame the dog like fundamentally. Yeah, the owners, you know, they might do you may they might overfeed them, but fundamentally the dog is a is a fucked up, deranged creature. <laughs> uh because dogs just shit a lot. And also because dog owners usually feed their dogs a combination of table scraps and the cheapest dog food that's full of fillers and corn, corn and stuff dogs can't absorb or digest. Is corn bad? Is corn, is corn bad? Is corn bad? One can never know what's in the intestines of the dog who may or may not be poised to attack from the filthy shadows. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh. Oh, I'm having so much fun. Okay, let's, well, let's go to the next post. Three hours ago, the stink is otherworldly. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. All right. <clears throat> I walk every night down to my local mosque. I always have to pass by this house with a dog out in the yard, <laughs> thankfully obscured by the large fence around it. I never see it, but of course this monster barks non-stop at the sound of any pedestrian's footstep. That doesn't bother me so much anymore. I'm used to it. The stink of something else. It's so overwhelming, overbearing, that I wear a mask passing this house now. I wonder if dog worshippers are aware of the smell and choose to ignore it, or if they've reached a new level of delusion where such a foul stench appeals to them. 
Why else would they cuddle and even kiss these shit-sculpted mutants? What is the mutant thing? What is the mutant thing about? Is it like a breeding thing? Like we've warped them? Um... <laughs> now... Now every time I see a dog in there, who man, I imagine the sub-100 IQ owner to similarly smell like shit. Even if they don't, I still treat them as such and avoid with great distance. <laughs> okay. E even if they smell good, I'm gonna choose to believe that they smell like shit. You know, fundamentally, spiritually. I worship my dog and her horrible stenches, as you should. As you should. I do like the human in brackets. I mean... That, yeah, that's, that's tough for people to hear, the word human, human, yeah. Dogs are hell's potpourri. <laughs> Time to reveal my new invention, dog deodorant. Ooh, you could make a killing, a killing. This is sadly the only flavor is Lynx Africa. <laughs> Dogs love that. Dogs actually love that. All right. Okay. Pretty, pretty short and sweet. Simple post. Um, dum, 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 dum. Most disgusting dog story. All right, let's, let's do that. Let's see what the most disgusting dog story is. Dog Neo was right. <laughs> oh, Dog Neo beautiful when my now wife first moved to town she shared a small house they had a dog and the dog would shit and piss everywhere once while they were eating at the table the dog shit right next to her she asked them to clean it up so they got up from the table instead of picking it up they sprayed some febreze on it and left it there needless to say she moved out asap but it's totally insane someone can be out of touch with reality to be okay with actual shit by their eating slash sleeping slash living areas. Did that really happen, do we think? Did that Febreze story truly occur, do we think? I, I, what, what would the Febreze do? I mean, what, what, what would the Febreze help with? I, I can only think that a person who would do that would be doing it to like piss you off you know oh you want me to clean up okay gets the febreze there you go like like a weird kind of abusive scenario um okay yeah i mean i think this is a real societal problem I think this is a genuine societal issue. <laughs> Happens all the time. Once I was on a bus and a dog did a shit and we all had to get off the bus. I hope you enjoyed my tale. Wow. Beautiful memories. <laughs> um, okay. It's kind of like when people think it's okay to douse themselves in Axe body spray or cologne instead of showering. I, you know, I don't really think that it is kind of like that. I think, I don't think spraying a poo with the breeze is actually that comparable to that situation. Um, I mean, like, you know, it's not ideal, but it's not, it's not really, you know, you kind you can kind of get away with the deodorant thing occasionally, maybe, unless you're really stinky. But, you know, your mileage may vary. Every morning I smear myself in shit and Febreze and nobody notices. It's my funny little prank. Ooh. Ooh. Starting to understand how they're blaming their issues with people on dogs. Yeah, it's very, you know, society's broken kind of subreddit. And it really becomes about things other than the dogs. This is more common than most people would like to believe. I mentioned this previous, but I toured a house with five small dogs living in it. The owner had a paper screen partially blocking one of the hallways and casually mentioned 
That was where the animal animals defecated and urinated as though it was not disgusting and unsanitary. Heck, even my current landlord keeps a few absorbent pads in the laundry room for when her geriatric ch chihuahua can't wait until their next walk to pee. Uh, yeah, if you have a really young or really old dog, it might be impossible for it not to sometimes pee somewhere you wouldn't want it to. What are we supposed to do about that? Y having the pads is what you do about that. Is it your landlord's fault for not like killing her old dog yet? I don't know. I don't know what you possibly could want instead of that. Dogs pee. They're gonna pee in your house, and you do have to deal with that at some point. Like it's gonna happen. I had cats. I had two cats growing up. They didn't always go where they should have gone. They didn't always go where they should have gone. <laughs> They're animals. What do you what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? <laughs> it's really stupid. It's really stupid. Okay. Like the the first part of this makes sense. Like, oh yeah, um yeah, sometimes people do nasty kind of stuff with their pets. Sometimes people actually don't clean up that well after their pets. A horde of this, right? And that notoriously animal hoarders exist. And that can be nasty, but, uh, you know, that's not like the normal way to have a pet. It's not actually that normal. <laughs> and, um, that's like an illness someone has, right? <laughs> Whatever. Stupid ass, stupid <laughs> shit. Uh, babies, those nasty little mutants can grow into Reddit, as you know. Oof. Ooh, if you had a child and you caught them on Reddit, you caught them making a dog-free post, what would what, what would the reaction be? What would you? How would you feel that day? <laughs> oh, okay. Mm -mm -mm. Um, dog and ice cream shop. I don't. I don't think I care about that. A small and significant victory. A small but significant victory. Okay, let's see. Let's see what this is. Because I'd like to know what, what, what makes a dog free poster happy. <laughs> what makes them happy? I have a I, I have to I have to slurp a little bit here. This is iced coffee. Yummy. <laughs> if I had a kid and they posted a story on two sentence horizons. I'd be very proud to print it out and put it on the fridge. That's right. That's right. Okay. Mm -mm. Sorry. This post. A small but significant victory. Like many of you, most of my family and in-laws are dog nutters. I've been open and vocal about my hatred of dogs to them for some time and share the very good reasons why that it seems to fall on deaf ears. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Yesterday we had a family gathering to celebrate my brother-in-law's return from overseas and mark his and my father-in-law's birthday. Father-in-law mentioned in the WhatsApp group that three people will celebrate their birthdays that day. Him, brother-in-law, and the dog that his ex owns that he is obsessed with, okay? <laughs> That's a funny way to frame a dog, okay. It's small, brain-dead, rat-like creature, an oodle of some sort with crusty, soulless eyes that he likes to share custody of with his ex. Of course he had asked no one if he could bring it, and that meant others in the family thought it was okay to drag along their shit beasts too. My mother-in-law brought her untrained idiot of a Labrador as well, so the house ended up with three of these animals barking their heads off from a locked room downstairs. Ooh. <laughs> the first strike was when he reminded everyone it was the dog's birthday, to which I said, the dog is not a person. <laughs> he responded, yes, she is. I said, when dogs go to prison for killing people, I might consider them to be on an equal footing with humans. <laughs> oh, they, ki they kill dogs for doing that. They don't put them in prison because they ki just kill them. They kill them. It's worse. It's worse. Hello? Okay. I don't... When, do like, when dogs are puni punished appropriately, well, that's a really weird... That's a really... Yeah, put the dog on trial. Why don't you? Yeah, put the get the get the dog to swear oath. Like, okay, yeah, do it, do it. Go on, go ahead. Let's do that. Let's start doing it. 
He then got angry and stalked off. When we finished singing Everyone Happy Birthday, he said, and then Lola. My husband said no, and everyone ignored him. I am so sick of people acting like dogs are the same or better than humans. This call of dog worship must end, and I will never stop clapping back in the face of this madness. I have zero fucks left to give. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh my god. I'll respect dogs when they have to pay taxes. The same or better than humans. I. He just wanted to to be like, it's my dog's birthday. Like, what? What? Why did this offend you so much? Of all things, that the dog has a birthday. Do dogs are born just like us. Dogs are born on a day, exactly as humans are. So, what is the reasoning why they shouldn't have a birthday? I'll put a dog in prison if this person will celebrate a dog's birthday. We'll have that trade. We'll have that trade. It'll be cool. It'll be awesome. You have so many fucks, my man. It's, he has so many fucks. Oh, boy. <laughs> Tonight on Dog Court, Mr. Vinkles is on trial for not paying his taxes and also for killing his wife. Tune in at 7 p.m. just after The Simpsons. Uh, I mean, I'd love to watch a dog trial. I'd love to watch a dog trial. Okay, okay. Same here, I just come out and say it these days if the subject comes up, not in a confrontational way, unless it is warranted at the time. I don't even know anyone who doesn't like dogs. I love your statement when dogs go to prison for killing people, I might consider that on an equal footing as humans. <laughs> Oh my god, but it's not, like, celebrating a dog's birthday does not imply that we are treating a dog as equal to humans. It just doesn't. And we, we don't, we never will, we don't, that, that's not, that's not kind of how it works. Okay, we own them. Like, we own them. That's not, okay. Whatever. You know what I'm You know about dogs. I don't need to explain it to you. <laughs> I don't need to explain it. You all know about it. Okay. <laughs> even in church? I'm not going to read that, but the title. Even in church? <laughs> yes, man. Even in church. <laughs> it should be punishable by jail time. To have a barking dog in your front yard. Um, I'm going to say no. I'm going to say I don't think that, I don't agree with that idea. I'm going to reject that, I think. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's read this one. Dog culture. I don't know what that flair means, dog culture, but. Anyway, let's just, let's just, um, let's see this. <clears throat> I have an appreciation for service dogs. If I see one out, I'm happy that person has something that will help as needed. So I saw a post with a service dog that was so kind, I clicked that little heart. Big mistake. Big mistake. I'm now getting, you might like, and every dog breed ever owned in the history of the earth. So I'll be spending the next few weeks muting them all. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that online showed you more dogs when you liked one. <laughs> I'm really, really sorry. Uh, I made the same same mistake on TikTok. Oh, ooh! <laughs> when dogs are allowed on the high school basketball team, like an airbud, I might consider them on equal footing as humans. Ah, oh, please, yeah, we're gonna be doing that. We're gonna be doing that. It's gonna be happening. God, okay. Dog nutters. I guess that's a, a phrase that the subreddit uses. Dog nutters. Uh, let's read this. Why not? Dogs are idiots. Is the flair beautiful? A... Dog nutters put up with the most disgusting things. Just saw a post on Facebook asking people what the nastiest thing they've ever had to pry out of their dog's mouth was. The comments nearly made me throw up. A used condom, a human shit, a dirty diaper, dead animal. Yeah. Yes. This is gross. Yes. That's really gross. 
One commenter says they sat there crying with their hand covered in dog saliva and poop from a dirty diaper after getting out of the dog's mouth. Ugh. Why in the ever-loving fuck would you put up with a creature that, one, is too stupid to know what isn't food? You ever heard of a goat? They eat anything. You have a goat problem? I don't know. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Who cares? Two, forces you to pry open its fucking jaw and touch God knows what to get it out. People in the comments even equated it to children picking up gross stuff and putting it in their mouths. Ha ha! No! Children learn not to do it. Dogs do it till the day they kick the bucket. Am I missing something? People put up with this shit and for what? Dogs do nothing useful and it burns to everyone and everything. People are absolutely delusional. Um... Okay. <laughs> Humans do put dead animals in their mouths all the time. That is true. That is true. Very true. Dogs are dumber than babies. <laughs> it's like, okay, yeah, man, dogs do gross things. Yeah, those things are really quite horrible. I don't know. People shit themselves. What are you, what are you going to do? Life is disgusting. Life is filthy. And at some point, you've got to come to terms with it. Not, you know, I don't always come to terms with the filth of life. And you don't have to all the time. You don't have to have a dog if you don't want to. But, you know, it's not, I don't know. I don't think, I don't think, it's okay, man. It's okay. The one thing I know about dogs is that they are impossible to train. Mm, notorious. All right, well. Sorry, sorry that you read a Reddit post or something about dogs and you got mad. Um, uh, that's really sad. One of my biggest pet peeves is dog owners allowing their dogs to stand or sit in the middle of busy trains. It makes it so inconvenient to get to the other side because nine out of ten, the owners won't move their dog out of the way and expect you to keep a shuffle around. I already dislike people without spatial awareness. Now I gotta add dogs to the list. Well. The dogs probably don't, can't really sit on their seats that easily. So that's one of the problems. <laughs> um, maybe they, they can sometimes, I guess. I don't know. Dogs gotta be there. I don't know. Why the fuck are dogs allowed on trains? They have to go places. They gotta go places. They gotta go to their little dog jobs. They have to. They gotta go. They're allowed to on as long as they're leashed, unfortunately. I don't know what places where you can't take a dog on a train. Can't you take dogs on trains sometimes? That's, that's crazy. Dogs can go on trains. That's my world. Dogs need to go to London to trade stocks. That's right. Ooh, there must be a cat free. There must be a cat free. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get distracted though. It's dog time only right now. It's crazy how your entire life has to revolve around dogs now if you hate them. Okay, let's let's read this. Snakes on a plane, dogs on a train, one entertaining, one a public nuisance. Is Dr. Seuss a dog hater? <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, I'd love to have snakes on planes all of the time, actually. We should, we should get that going. Okay. Need to live in a place with as little neighbors as possible. The more neighbors you have, the more chance you have of living your life ruined by dogs. Oh, I hope there's a fish tree. Those fucks have been on that high horse before. <laughs> Uh, I can't sleep with my window open because of dogs. I'm afraid to even go in my own yard because dogs. I don't want to go on walks anymore because dogs. I'm afraid to open my windows during the day because dogs. Will you? Okay. There's no windows open. I'm afraid to sit on my porch slash patio because dogs. I don't like sitting outside anymore because dogs. I can't sit outside and relax because dogs. I hate all my neighbors because dogs. I don't want to go to the beach because dogs. I can barely relax in my own home because dogs. I don't want to live in, a, in an apartment because dogs. Actually, okay. 
why what is the apartment thing about what does that mean i don't want to go to people's houses because dogs i'm afraid of being randomly attacked in stores because dogs i'm afraid to rent my bike because dogs i don't want to use dating apps because dogs if i ever could i'd be afraid to buy a house because dogs uh, it's insane how much they have destroyed the quality of my life literally every single facet of life any dog owner can easily ruin your entire life and an overwhelming majority of dog owners are awful people and are happy to do it. <laughs> and dogs exist in pretty much every single house now. And there's an unlimited supply of them. And there is a massive increase of dangerous breeds being totally untrained and unleashed now. Whether you live in a big city or a small town, dogs are hands down going to be the most annoying thing you have to deal with. They are literally like an unholy plague on this earth. <laughs> Amen to that. Seriously explains how I'm beginning to look at that. <laughs> Man. I mean, no offense as someone inclined to agree with you, but if it's this debilitating an issue, you probably should seek some help. I have crippling social anxiety and still muster enough strength to manage a grocery store visit or open the windows on a cool day. Or move to Antarctica, but watch out for the husky, I think it's an alien. Um, <laughs> I know there is good intention behind your comment, but as someone who did seek help for similar issues, I can report it is pretty difficult to find proper counselling. I'm sure there are out there, but my experience so far has been that they do not really help with anything. OP's fears are unfortunately based in reality, to be honest. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Does, 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 does therapy not work? Or are OP's fears based in reality? OP's fears, to un fears are unfortunately based in reality, to be honest, and your average mental health professional will try to gaslight you into the Disney fantasy that dogs are actually not a threat and that attacks are rare and not serious, and it's all in your head, your fear is irrational, etc. Then they proceed to suggest exposure therapy. This is sad. This is really sad. This is really sad. Like, damn, dude. Damn. I mean, all we get is exposed to these beasts. Everyone and their grandmas are walking off leash everywhere with a demented disregard to everyone else while they get aggressive. If anyone dares suggest that that is antisocial, dogs that attack people are no longer put down. I'm sorry, what? What do you mean no longer put down? What? What do you mean? Uh, thank you for the bin for the raid. <laughs> I went to a therapist and they were just a dog. No, 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 no. Okay. Victims, usually small children, get blamed. No, they don't. When has that ever happened? That doesn't happen. Maybe it's happened once. Uh, I'm just saying that ain't normal. If a dog bites a child, it's a problem. <laughs> it's a problem. Okay. Dogs that attack are never put down because I pick them up and run away with them. <laughs> Good. Dog suffrage. Okay. Now you're talking. Now you're talking. To make a comparison, it's like suggesting someone gets therapy if they live with the anxiety that their child will be shot while at school in the US. I mean, therapy is not going to solve one goddamn thing. Maybe gun reform or other major societal change, but individual anxiety around the matter is more than justified because it's based in facts and statistics. No. 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 Absolutely not. Dogs don't kill that many people. I mean, it happens. But if you're constantly afraid that it's going to happen to you, that's not like normal. That's not like normal thing. That's not normal. <laughs> that's not normal. We all know it's not normal. We all know it's not normal. <laughs> oh dear. 
I gotta head to bed, but I'm glad to know there are real life dark races in the world. <laughs> good night, Beefy Doob. Have a have a good sleep. Don't have a terrifying dream about any dogs. Okay. Okay. It's funny how my therapist suggested I look up statistics so I can put my mind at ease that dog attacks and fatalities are insignificantly low. Well, come to find out most countries don't even keep proper track of that and the ones that do report some pretty worrying and increasing numbers. Okay, let's see it, I guess. Oh. 8,000 a year. I, I don't know. I don't know how to how to how to process this number, really. Oh, a five percent increase in dollar related admissions. Okay. Mm mm mm. Twenty one percent under eighteen years old of the admissions. Blue, 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 blue. Um, trauma surgeons report seeing a spike in injuries sustained from dog fights. Over the past few years, I have seen an increase in the number of dog related injuries I deal with. The injuries range from fairly minor to life changing. Across the UK, 23,078 admissions over the past three years is a strain on the health service and is becoming a public health issue. Okay, well. You know, dog bites do exist and do happen. I've heard of, uh, I've, I've known people who have had it happen to them. Um, it happens. Now, uh, acknowledging that as a problem <laughs> is not the same of being constantly obsessed with it. See a dog freak out, it's not, it's not, it's probably not going to happen to you. Like, most likely it probably won't happen to you. Probably, probably can chill out. I don't know. I don't know. Um, ooh, post woman. Yeah, that's, they're probably relatively at risk from that compared to like most people. Ooh, God. The dog owner agreed in this case where a post woman was attacked to have the dog voluntarily destroyed. So, you know. Horrible. <laughs> dog owners are patrolling my neighborhood waiting for me to step outside to stick their dogs on me. Yeah, I believe it. Dog owners love to fuck you up. Did you know most deaths in the UK are probably from dogs? They don't want you to know this, yeah. Uh, source for the US, okay, let's take a look at that. Each day, nearly a thousand US citizens require emergency care treatment for serious dog bite injuries. Additionally, about 12,480 citizens are hospitalized due to dog bite injuries. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Blah, 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 dog bite things. Dog bite stuff. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I guess dogs bite sometimes. Dog, dogsbite.org. Some dogs don't let go. <laughs> okay. 15 year dog bite fatality chart. What is that gonna be? 66% pit, pit bulls. Pit bulls are, yeah, I guess pit bulls do the most violence according to these this pie chart i wonder if the site has some bias yeah i mean i don't know you know it's a site that exists to talk about dog bites um i'm assuming that the sources for these studies are fine i'm i'm assuming that so pitbulls yeah some, I'm sorry, the, the, the tagline, some dogs don't let go. Who came up with that one? Who came up with that? At 1,000 per day, that's 0.001% of the US population per year. 
Oof. Can we get, can we improve those figures? Can we get dog, dog bites up? Can we get the dog bites maybe up? Actually, one of the, uh, a dog bite that I knew about, that someone I knew uh, was involved in, was a pit bull. So, there you go. It does happen. Anyway. What's up with these guys? Dogs bite. <laughs> about us. Um, video. Public education website about dangerous dog breeds, chiefly footballs. We are the primary blah blah non profit organi organization dedicated to putting safety of humans before dogs and the principal source of info on this topic that is not owned, controlled, or funded by dog breeders, dog advocacy, veterinarian, animal welfare groups. Okay. Well, you know. Policies we support pit bull ban. That makes sense. Um for those figures. Mandatory spay new uh, identification liability insurance prohibit felons from ownership. Interesting. All felons? Just all felons? Just all felons? Convicted felons do not have the right to own a firearm, nor should they have a right to own a dog breed easily deployed as a deadly weapon. All right, anyway. <laughs> Almost 50,000 per year from guns, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. View Colleen's forearm bone fracture injury. You know what, I don't think I will. Thank you though. Okay, back to back to Reddit we go. <laughs> back to Reddit. Okay, these are the cases that are bad enough to require hospitalization. Imagine there are many, many, many others that are not reported. I mean, hardly a rare occurrence by rare occurrence by my standards. Has this person been bitten by a dog fifty thousand times? You know, the spider's George thing. Just way higher than the average, and they think that that's how it is. <laughs> Um, even if you assess your risk of being attacked as low, the consequences of that low chance occurrence are pretty severe if you're dealing with one of these dangers. Oh, God. Explain to me why you need a large shepherd dog in the middle of the city. Because they are cute. Next question. Do you have sheep in your apartment? I wish I did. A husky? Yeah, man. Taking your sleigh out much? If I had a husky, I would be taking my sleigh out into the city streets. Leave me alone. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Long story short, I wish, I wish therapy was a solution here, but I am sad to realize it's not so much a mental illness as a societal problem which the majority of people just rationalize and ignore away. How many talk bites did Dana do a dog? Probably just one. Probably just the one, almost 500k from smoking. Ooh, ooh. Okay, let's see what the replies are to this. Uh, I agree with you, on this note, therapy won't help when you're still going home to the same problem. That all, okay. Uh, to, this is the gun comparison. No, it isn't because of statistical risk, which is still almost vanishingly small when it comes to school shootings. Maybe not the best comparison then. I think there is a better one in another comment. Okay. Uh, okay. It's just like, you know, wow. It's so patently a, a, a mental, illness health problem to everyone around you and you're sitting there going no it is the dogs everyone's lying to me that's scary that's scary obviously that happens a lot people get like that therapy will help because your problem is fear of dogs not dogs existing right like you're not going to get rid of the dogs, right? Even even if it was, even if it, let's, let's, let's just say that even if the, the dogs were, like, the problem, right? Like, a genuine, like, people would just, everyone's fine with dogs even though they're, like, fucked up. 
therapy might still help you in that case. Therapy might still be a good thing, you know, to be able to cope with, with the reality that you're in, even if the reality is, like, not good. You know, therapy is complex. Therapy is uh, complex. Life is difficult. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. In my next life, I'll be living in a dog-free world. Wait, what do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? What does that mean? Uh, okay. Dogs are severely overrated animals, like there's nothing special about them. <laughs> In my area, the authorities are overzealous about enforcing the hundreds of road rules and safety standards for cars. But when it comes to dogs, the authorities are reluctant to enforce the rules for dogs, and of course the dog nutters know this. Yes, cars can cause annoyance to the public, serious injury and death, but so can dogs. Oh, interesting. I wonder which of those things uh, kills more people. Wow, interesting. Really, really interesting. Which one? It could, it, there's no way to know. There's no way to know, of course, but I do wonder how, you, which of those things kills more people. Alternate universe where dogs kill 500k people a year and in France they protest batting them. <laughs> I'd like it if dogs were made out of metal and weighed a ton. Okay, now you're talking. Now you're talking. Can we make dogs larger and more dangerous? I'm going to say yes. Yeah. <laughs> dog people are for world domination every square inch of the planet a dark kennel or dark toilet we are doomed unless there is a breaking point that reverses this would those metal dogs still shit really good question yes they would absolutely yes they would they would shit bigger than ever <laughs> uh. all right what else what else have we got Dogs always interrupt my therapy sessions. <laughs> it's just with barking, but like. <laughs> it's really funny. Okay. Nutager? I'm not going to read that because it offends me. Just to see that word. That, it's not a word, but just to, just to see that word. Ooh. Okay. Dog attacks. They love posting about dog attacks. Overcoming fear slash hatred of dogs for my daughter's sake. Okay, let's read this. Let's see what this is all about. Okay. I am the parent of a two-year-old and I absolutely hate dogs of all kinds, big and small. I do not trust any dog and I reserve special skepticism for dog owners who say things like, oh, he's great with kids, etc. I would even go so far as to say I'm afraid of dogs. They can always sense my anxiety and I've had multiple occasions where the sweetest dog has latched out at me in a social environment much to the bewilderment of the owner uh oh every time there is a dog around my daughter I am extremely protective and very cautious I admit I take any measure I can to prevent them from interacting at all I'll usually shield her from the dog or pick her up and I'll say something like oh she isn't very familiar with dogs so I don't think she would be very gentle I know this is not a good move because I don't want her growing up terrified of dogs and I want her to know how to interact with them safely. But I'm so incredibly afraid that I can't let it go. Any tips? Hmm. All right, let's see what the comments say. Contrary to other comment, I think you shouldn't overcome fear of dogs because they are to be afraid of. <laughs> they are full of nasty parasites and fungus that they spread by direct contact wagging tail and barking they bite and maul babies kids adults and elders anxiety isn't that relevant here everybody normal is scared of legal uncontrolled biological weapon plus dogs attack people that trust them and don't have anxiety around them so <laughs> oh to be full of fungus <laughs> Oh, man. 
I am a, there is no such thing as interacting with them safely. I think teaching her that they are commonplace and that they are all potentially dangerous and that she should never approach one on a leash, let alone try to pet it, despite what the dog nutter owner tries to tell her, her default should be to avoid them, which is the only way to safely interact with them. The owner won't be the one dealing with the consequences if she gets bitten, scratched, or contracts some infection. Your daughter will directly. These shitty dog owners will just try to blame her if something happens and excuse their worthless mutt. <laughs> if you think about it, teaching kids to not run out into the streets before looking both ways doesn't make them terrified of cars. It teaches them that moving cars are or can be very dangerous and deadly. So teaching them to be safe around areas where there is traffic is something every parent does, hopefully. It should be the same way with dogs. With about 4.5 million dog bites in in what time oh every year okay is that globally okay um the overwhelming majority of them occurring in children it's just not worth the risk by the way this person has been bitten two times by a dog so that might be informing some some things as she gets older she can make decisions about such things but you're the parent and you get to decide with what she can safely interact with it shouldn't be dogs Mm -mm. It's a great move, don't change. You're protecting your daughter from idiots. That's good parenting. Keep in mind she's only two. If she's not going to be around dogs, then she doesn't need to learn how to interact with strange dogs Strange dogs at that age. Wait until she's older. And dogs sensing your anxiety is crap. They are not psychic. <laughs> That's a funny thing to say. That's actually an interesting thing. Definitely a lot of people in this, in this subreddit are going to think like a dog can can smell my my fears um i do think dogs can kind of tell at least sometimes if you're you're being weird you're you're feeling weird you know um that's something that they know i think maybe that's maybe it's an urban myth i don't know i'm an acid dog scientist about this interacting with dogs safely it's on the parent to ask if it's okay for the kid to approach the dog, not on the dog owner to let their dog approach everyone because it's friendly. <laughs> Don't trust anyone who says their dog would never bite. They have no fucking clue what a dog is. Dogs attack more people per year than all wild animals combined in the US. It ain't even close either. Okay. Maybe that's because, like, a dog is a pet that people have, you know? Wild animals aren't around you that much <laughs> compared to a dog. Dogs can sense that I haven't done my taxes yet. Okay, that's 100% true. Referring to sympathy as psychic powers is a very anti-dog person. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, maybe they just can perceive things, right? If, if they can tell something about how you feel. Uh, I don't know. They know you're mad because you're screaming, so that's one thing. <laughs> that's one thing. They can actually subtly, like, they can they can sense like subtle clues that you're absolutely freaking out, which is like that you're screaming and crying. <laughs> uh, um, okay, whatever. Uh, I don't, but I want to confirm this is wise. My mother was attacked by dogs when she was young and brought me up in the exact way you describe. I developed a phobia of dogs and TBH, it has led to some difficulties in my life. I'm sure I could see a therapist about it, but it just isn't my top priority. I wish it had been different though. I do this with my kids too. Nothing to overcome. I think this is the smartest way to keep your kids from getting bit. Ultimately, the best thing you can do is teach a healthy respect for all animals and their basic instincts. Dogs are social predators. This means avoid making yourself look like prey with darting or other sudden movements. It is not perfect, but if you can appear confident in a situation where an interaction is forced on you, then you are less likely to escalate the situation. Keeping the dog in your peripheral is also ideal since it's threatening to stare at a dog. Many dogs are still terrified of the outside world or the isolation of being locked in a house for 22 out of 24 hours a day has created psychological damage similar to what we would see in humans under similar circumstances. Wait, what? What? What is this person talking about? Okay. Um, 
I mean, a lot of people spend 22 out of 24 hours per day in their own home. Uh, and they are, you know, okay. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Man. Why did this, why did this woman come to the sub, you know? That's my question. To ask, to ask about it. Do you guys, can you guys help me? Oh, God. Mm, smell. This simple title. Smell. Smell. Okay, let's read smell. Why not? I think the main reason why I don't like dogs is the smell. Whenever I enter the home of someone who owns a dog, I can always smell their dogs, especially if they let them on their furniture. Do you guys notice this too? My friend lets her dog on her bed, and every time I hang out with her on it, I can smell her dog, and I think it's so gross. She washes, she washes her sheets regularly too. Also, the way your hands smell after you pet one. Ick. I'm so glad I don't have one and never will. Smell. Yes, we have one friend with a large dog in their home. I rarely visit there, and they know I hate dogs, but when I do, the stench of dog almost makes me gag. I could never eat in a house like that. <laughs> Every dog owner I know lets their dog on their bed. <laughs> Oh, that's the same comment we've saw we saw in another post. Dogs are hell's potpourri. This this person just loving that one. <laughs> oh God. Some dogs do be stinking. All right, well, that's cool, man. That's cool, smell. Carbon footprint and dogs don't care. Do not care. I was chased by my neighbor's beagle while, while running. I don't know why that's funny, but that made me laugh. I hate dog tourists. Experienced my worst fear today, face to face with an off-leash pit bull. Uh-oh, don't care. About that post, reading that post. Why do people even like dogs? I can't think of a single good thing about dogs that outweigh the negatives. Okay, let's read that. That's gonna be great. That's gonna be really good. Um, <clears throat> it baffles me how people actually keep dogs as pets. They are disgusting, filthy, ugly, expensive, super needy, and insanely annoying. They destroy your house and furniture, jump on guests, bark. It's not even fun to go to someone's house if they have dogs, wow. You know, I have felt that way about annoying dogs. Like, I don't want to be around your annoying dog right now. But dogs in general? You just hate them all? Maybe you've, maybe these people have met, like, some of these people have met just, like, really annoying dogs. Like, really the worst dogs uh, ever. A lot of dogs are horribly inbred, which is cruel of humans, yet people will spend hundreds, even thousands, on these filthy, needy beasts. Why? They are nothing but pests and nuisances. Nothing more. <laughs> what is this, like, Edgar Allan Poe-ass post? <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Um, dog nutters are narcissists who crave a slobbering, subservient animal that gives them endless attention and affection. They're often incapable of having healthy, normal relationships with other humans who wouldn't ever put up with the, the kind of twisted relationship. This, a thousand percent. <laughs> yeah, okay, true. 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 Really real. People want to own dogs because everybody else does. All right. It sounds jealous to me. <laughs> Ugh, man. One of the great mysteries. I've often thought that if a human being rented slash leased a room in your house, paid you $200 per week, was good looking, funny, and super friendly, even cooked you restaurant quality meals on a nightly basis, but had this one fault of dropping a giant turd every night on your front lawn, you'd soon show him slash her the door. Yet people put up with this every day, rent free from a dog. 
blows my mind. That's because um, it's a dog, not a person. I hope that helps. I really hope that helps, but they're different. They're different, different things. Different things. Um, okay, rent free. Yeah, I know, like the dog should be paying. The dog should be paying. Exactly. Exactly. Wait, sore butt cheeks? What does this mean? Sore butt cheeks? Sore butt cheeks, were you bit? As somebody who's been on, been bit on the ass before, that was my first thought as well. I meant pain in the ass. Oh, okay. I didn't get that, so I needed that explained. Now I get it. <laughs> My boyfriend thinks dogs are only capable of love, as opposed to what? As opposed to what? As opposed to literally what? He says that they want only love and give only love, and that unlike humans, dogs can't take care of themselves, so we have to do it. Personally, I think this is a hot, delusional take on the matter, even though it is true that we humans have bred dogs to be mostly useless and sometimes dangerous. But taking care of them isn't the solution I'd prefer. And he has a bit of a savior complex, even though neither of his dogs were true rescues, he calls them that and refers to getting them as adoption, even though one of them was literally from a backyard breeder. His loneliness caused him to adopt the second one just a few months before he met me. It's a damn shame that happened. Dogs want to be fed, are jealous, and need all your attention on them to ensure their number one want, food. They suck up and act like morons when they get either of these things, which to dog nutters looks like love, I guess. <laughs> Stock free birds are better than child free. I, I don't know if you can directly compare, but. I feel like child free might have more of a sense of like things that make sense, things that are a bit more rooted in like reality. Um, Cause like, you know, the idea that you have to have a child is a kind of thing that exists. Whereas the idea that you have to have a dog, I don't, I don't think that's really, you know, people kind of just like dogs and choose to get them. Right, so so that they, they don't really have that aspect. Child free is like there's different things going on, and some of those people are just mean weirdos, and some of those people are like kind of reacting to something that is real. And I think there's a little bit in the dog free, like you can see a little bit of things that like make sense. Like you can see that some people have been bitten, and it's had an effect on them, and that's like the the thing that has got. You can, you can see like a cause that makes sense, and that like. You know, I don't know, if a person told me they were, con they were like, interested in lessening dog bites in the world, I wouldn't, I wouldn't think that was, like, a problem. I wouldn't think that was, like, freaky. But, uh, it's, some is just, just really weird, man. Just really weird, like, they stink. I hate them. I want to kill them. Like, yeah, okay. All right. I mean, I get it. Dogs do stink, do be stinky sometimes. <laughs> like you're wearing glasses, thank you. Hmm. They mostly hate themselves and use the dog as an accessory or a tool for attention. Wow, read it free. <laughs> Extremely real. People like dogs because dogs can't talk and they can't fend for themselves. Wait, so can dogs fend for themselves? Uh. Can they not fend for themselves, or do they like viciously attack people all the time? Because you gotta you gotta make up your mind on on which which one you're going for. <laughs> uh, ask a nutter how they feel about a real dog, aka a wolf. Damn. Real. <laughs> I think about this every single day. Oh, well, maybe don't think, don't think about it that much. <laughs> they hate themselves and use the talk as a tool. The projection is unreal. It, it, it's really something. I don't think they call them child nutters on child free, no. 
I think that they might, they sometimes would say like breeders, which is its own gross little thing. Um, they don't say child nutters to my knowledge. <laughs> I'm recently dog free. My girl passed away in September 2022. 20, she was 16. I got her from three weeks old, bottle fed her, loved her dearly. I got lucky. She was easily trainable and more chill than a house cat. I don't regret our time together, but I'll not have a dog anytime soon. I have so much time to do what I want now with no strings. I initially got her because I was in my late 20s single and thought I needed a dog to complete the rugged outdoorsy image I had for myself. Oh, <laughs> What? I drove a jeep, did trail running and swimming, etc. I have this belief that I needed a dog companion for this. Whether that was marketing or brainwashing, whatever, I don't know. I do know that she changed my life for the better in a lot of ways, but my social life completely ended in the amazing form it was in. I used to club and do speakeasies, regularly spent the night with girls and walk of shame it the next day and it was great. I had so many flight miles from traveling, spontaneous flights to MX or someplace in the States was a monthly occurrence. Suddenly, I could do little of that anymore. I found that dark daycares, kennels, and friends would just undo the training I'd ingrained to her, so I didn't want to leave her with anyone if I didn't have to. I missed out on a lot of things because I was basically a single father with no support network. Never again. Shut up, man. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was basically a single father. What? What? This guy. Man. What a loser. What an incredible loser. All right, I think that's a good place to um, stop. <gasps> really cool. I hope you had a good time looking at Dog Free with me. I'm going to I'm going to make a list of all the reasons I hate talks. Bye. <laughs>